Hello everyone and welcome to another super science video of the Mastodon Regional Library. I'm Miss Stephanie, one of the librarians here in the Youth Services Department, and today we're going to be doing a experiment with baking soda and vinegar. And this is going to cause a chemical reaction is when two, you put two things together, they're going to create something completely different. And this is kind of like, um, because baking soda and vinegar are different types of chemicals. Vinegars are acids, which kind of usually taste how sour and tart and they have hydrogen ions. Baking soda kind of tastes bitter and it is a base which ca contains hydroxide ions. And when you put these two, the base and the acid together, you usually get a chemical reaction. And it's going to be a little different because, you know, baking soda and vinegar is a very common but very fun experiment, but we're going to do a little twist to it and make them like fireworks. So for this experiment, since this is going to get messy, you're going to need a tablecloth, um, you're going to need a little squeeze bottle, but if you don't have one of these at home, then an eyedropper works great too. A bowl or a dish, some glitter or sequins, you'll need the baking soda, and the vinegar. And this part is optional, I will show you guys in the video, but if you have dish soap on hand, this can create some more explosive fun too. So, let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, so let's get our baking soda and vinegar fireworks started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some of the baking soda to the bowl. So I'm going to put three spoonfuls in the bowl. Um, the amount doesn't matter. In fact, you guys can experiment with, like, what kind of things you see when you put different amounts of baking soda and vinegar. Now we're going to flatten it a little bit. Okay, so then the next step is we'll get our glitter. So I'm going to put a little purple glitter, and I'm going to put a little gold glitter. Okay, then our next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little more baking soda on top to cover them up. So it's kind of like a surprise when we get see our chemical reaction. All right. Okay, most of it is covered up. All right, so get your vinegar out, and if you don't have a squeeze bottle, the... Um, Eyedropper works well, so do three, two, one. All right, I think I need to cut it off. Yep, it was in the off position. Okay, for some reason my squirt bottle's not working. That's okay. I'm just going to stir off the top and pour some of the vinegar in here. So let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. You can see all the glitter and all the... Oh, I'll put it a little closer. Here we go. See? It's so cool. The chemical reaction where the acid vinegar and the base baking soda reacted to get some cool fireworks. And you can do this a few times. I'll do it again. Here we go. See? Just like all those sparkles and fun like fireworks. It's messy but nowhere near as dangerous as real fireworks, which adults should definitely do. And now, this is optional, but let's see what happens when we put a couple drops of the dishwashing soap in here. All right, and I'm going to pour the rest of the vinegar in here. We're going to see what happens. Three, two, one. Whoa, that's even bigger. Whoa, why do you guys think that that reacted so much? Like, look at all the foam. I think it's because there's another chemical in the dishwashing liquid that gives even a bigger chemical reaction, so... So like I said, experiment with like the different types of baking soda, vinegar, some dish soap you have it on hand, and just have fun with your baking soda and vinegar fireworks. All right, everyone, I hope you guys had a lot of fun doing your baking soda and vinegar firework experiment. And I'm just going to share a couple of books that I found as I was researching for this video. The first is about real fireworks, Fireworks by Vicki Kopp. And I like this book because it walks you through how they're made. And they can be very dangerous, but very beautiful. So this is something that definitely an adult does. But it just breaks down all the things that go into making the fireworks. And like just it could take like up to 300 individual firework shells just to create a show that lasts 20 minutes long. So I just thought it was really interesting. It had good photos. And let me show you my favorite part. It was just kind of different types of fireworks that we see. They even have names. And I think my favorite one would be the rainbow candles or maybe, let's see, the chrysanthemum with rising tails. Those are both really cool looking. So if you want to learn about real fireworks, this is the book for you. 
And if you want to do some more messy experiments, this book is wonderful. It's called Get Messy with Science by Elsie Olson. And this book just has a bunch of other things, stuff you can find around your house like we did for this experiment. And what's fun about it is in the corner, it has like a little mesometer to just to see how messy it is. So you can, your adult kind of knows like how many like tablecloths and paper towels to keep on hand. And there's so many fun experiments in here. I'm going to get to my favorite one, which I would think would be the chalk bomb. And so it just explains, also explains the science behind each of these experiments as well. So if you're looking to do more messy experiments, this is the book for you. Well, thank you so much for joining me for another super science video. I look forward to sharing more experiments with you soon. Have a good day. Bye.